As for the purses, how about an adorable mini full face driver helmet? I love this kind of open collar. So to me, this feels and looks very practical. A lot of cute things, but you're gonna pay an arm and a leg for them. In today's video, I'm gonna analyze the brand new Chanel Cruise 2023 collection. It is about to launch in store. By the way, I'm gonna link down in the description box all of the resources. First, I'm gonna read about all the inspirations behind this collection. So this is from The Vogue. The day before presenting her Chanel Resort collection on a sandy runway slicing through the pebbles of Hotel Monte Carlo Beach, the brand's artistic director, Virginie Viard, was in nostalgic mood. As she garlanded her models in jewelry dripping with gilded dolphins and seashell, and the Sec Monaco in the red and white color block of the Monegasque flag in the cavernous space of the hotel's poolside art deco ballroom via recalled many happy moments spent with Karl Lagerfeld. It was on the terrace of the villa that Via remembered Lagerfeld shooting Linda, Christie, the iconic sequin scuba jackets in his spring 1991 collection. That was funny, she recalled. I adore La Vigie. At the end, I was here every year. It was those memories of Princess Caroline and her equally beauteous daughter, Princess Charlotte, several of whose birthdays and whose wedding Viard attended and who sat at the show next to French rapper Abdal Malik and across the pontoon of, from South Korean rapper G-Dragon that infused the spirit of the collection, as well as a playful take on what Monte Carlo means to the designer. The casino, uh, Helmut Newton girls, the race cars. Thinking of those races by way of Charlie Angels, Via dressed her girls in a racing driver's all-in-one and mechanics overalls, although these were sequined and perhaps designed as trompe l'oeil jacket and pant combination. There are silk prints of waving starter flags fashioned into drifting chiffon skirts, to graze the ankles and tweeds woven from images of massed cars on the tracks abstracted on the loom into a shimmer of asphalt gray and brilliant primaries. As for the purses, how about an adorable mini full face driver helmet? Sure, to be high on Chanel's addicts must have lists. There are real helmets too if racing is your game and number five is your lucky number. There are also wrestling shorts, biker jackets, cricket sweaters and tennis rackets if you are so inclined. The Helmut Newton inspiration meanwhile meant some sexy attitude on the skirt dresses slouched off to the shoulder and a plethora of short shorts minis that brought with them the promise of summer. So that was a very nice written summary of the collection and we're gonna go ahead and look at each of the images rather quickly because we have so many items to go through on the actual Chanel website and uh, that way we can look at some of the prices and just recognize some of the items that were shown on the runway. Again, the theme is Monte Carlo, Charlie Angels, race car, helmets, overalls. Uh, a bit too masculine for my liking, but it is part of the theme. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of hats in this collection. If you love a good hat moment, I think it's uh, worth exploring. Try to get your hands on some of the hats. Very sleek, very Charlie's Angel. Uh, is it wearable though? <laughs> Not necessarily, but that is the inspiration and bowling bag moment there. Very bright colors. Yeah kind of like one onesie mechanic sort of outfit. Okay, so here, I like the little shirt here. It's really cute, it has lots of buttons. Looks very wearable, but aside from that, this whole gold ensemble, very gold, so not as wearable. Okay, so, so far the impression on the collection is that I like the colors. I like what I'm seeing. Does it mean that it translates practically on an everyday wearable not so much but you can pick and choose like i said the hat low tops and i'm sure we'll see some swimsuits this jacket does look nice i quite like this jacket the bags are not as exciting though this little t-shirt 
moment underneath is very very cute maybe those earrings as well even this jacket and short if you're into more of a leather look this can be your thing um i find that leather i love leather but i find that leather in the summer is also not super practical i love this look you know why because i like how the shorts look they look like they look like fancy shorts, so you can dress this up. It is definitely dressed up in this look. You can throw on a nice bomber jacket. I even like the gold bomber jacket on this one. It's done tastefully, so overall this look, I I really dig. It, I would dress this look. I like the swimsuit underneath. I, I even like these shorts. These shorts are a little bit more casual, but super wearable, super easy to incorporate into your everyday look. Uh, I'm not into muscle tees and muscle vests, so that's just me because I don't have that physique to show off. Uh, but if you have nice toned arms, then this is for you definitely, the jacket. But the rest of it, I love. I love a good sandal moment. Cute. Yeah, black and white, it's okay. This is, <laughs> this is very extra. Not my jam, but okay. Ah, uh, this, this sweater is nice. Oh, I love this dress. This is the kind of dress that I love to wear. I like when it shows off a lot of the shoulders, parts of my collarbone. Um, it's very figure flattering for any shape. I feel like because it's kind of, um, it has that cinched in waist and it's flowing. So it will flatter almost any body shape and very, very nice dress. Cute. If you like to hide your arms, these are the kind of dresses for you. I don't like to hide my arms, not completely, but I just need a specific shape for my body type. Oh, I love this skirt. It's so pretty. Or is this a dress? I think this could be a whole ensemble. This, I don't know how I feel about it. I think maybe individually I like each component. Like I like the little tube top underneath. I like the jacket on top. Uh, I don't know if I like it all together. I, I'm. I will, if I had these pieces, I would just wear them individually uh, because also it doesn't really go with the whole uh, sports shoe look. So, um, and her tennis racket. I love this kind of open collar cardigan. You can, you know, put up the sleeves and it's just a bit more casual that way, but wear it like she did here. She's totally kind of on vacation mode, but still kind of dressy. This bathing suit is so cute but i don't know how practical it is as a bathing suit it feels very kind of like you know all the way up to the neck it's not super breathable <laughs> just doesn't feel that way but it's so pretty to look at oh cute i like this i don't know why i like this maybe because it's like all these buttons and the cc logo very iconic and you know black and white cannot go wrong <laughs> just very sleek Again, black and white, very cute. Cute and casual, I like that. Very romantic, love the long earrings and a little bit of see-through. You see what I mean, right? Like she's got this, it looks like it could be a swimsuit or a one body, or maybe a bodysuit underneath. And then this sort of see-through top, cinch it in, so, so, so cute with um, um, pantyhose, very nice. Oh, I love this. I love this because it just transports me into vacation mode. Nice, very nice Chanel black and white signature swimsuit look, plus like a casual throw it on jacket with nice pearl details at the waist. Very, very nice. Mm, how do I feel about this? I don't know. The contrast is a little bit too much. Almost makes this part of the collar, like this front part, a bit too like, She's wearing a bib or something. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Maybe I don't like it. That's cute. So yeah, we haven't seen a ton of bags. And as we all know, um, bags are not always all going to be shown on the runway. You will usually see it as the collection comes out. Uh, you will see it in boutique and they will repeat a lot of seasonal pieces and... Um, more classic shapes, flat bags and all. But you don't really see it on the runway as much. Yeah, and that's the last look. So 
That was the runway when each model came out. There was 67 looks. So let's go and analyze some of the the bags, the ready to wear pieces. I'll just pinpoint the ones that I just like. We're not going to go through every single one. It's going to take forever. But um, yeah, I'll just I'll just point out the ones that I like. So already I'm looking at this cute little mini flap square shape. I like how they did the quilting on this white lamb skin and I like this fun little um, kind of dice. It's not really a dice but you know this fun little Chanel moment with hearts. Uh, very cute. Expensive. Okay so this one is another mini flap. <laughs> They're all called mini flaps obviously. All sewn in lambskin and uh, the special detail about this one, it has these little tokens on the strap. So little gem, little charms on the strap. 5,775. So those are Canadian prices before taxes. Our taxes here, um, depending on which province you are in, it goes up to 15%. Okay, this one, uh, I've kind of seen it all over social media, so we have to take a look at it. So first of all, I did not know that this was a fabric bag. It says mix fiber, silk, strass, and gold tone metal. So uh, I did not know that it was a fabric, so automatically I was already kind of like, mm, no, <laughs> no more fabric bags for me. But it, it looks very fancy. It's, it's kind of like that nighttime evening bag got that nice top handle that is already attached to the strap so uh, it has nice feature and don't get me wrong it looks it always looks nice uh, very fancy but um, yeah not interested in fabrics maybe not necessarily that I'm not interested in but not for almost six thousand dollars plus tax that's too much but yeah essentially it is another mini flap right and this one has got that special top handle that's already welded into of the chain okay let's move on this one mini flap also in lambskin so so far we've only seen lambskin or fabric uh this should be or looks like it could be is it fabric lined oh it could be leather lined we don't know until we actually see the real product in store um, the leather looks a bit dry though from these pictures and these are just stock pictures from their website so <laughs> but anyway it's got nice uh, little details on the bag it says Chanel Monaco pearl details so it's it's got nice details I like the little knob here CC knob uh, it's a good size but it is 7175 oh it says Rue Gambon here also I wonder if it says the full address on the back side. Not sure. Moving along. Okay, like, you know, these are all getting a bit repetitive. They're all basically flat bags, but just with different details. So this one has got the double chain with CC. Uh, this one is in grain calfskin, so caviar. And it's also about 6,000 plus tax. It's expensive. And they're all mini flaps, right? This one must be but a bit more yeah it's got because it's got like those rhinestones on the on the clasp in front and the inside is gusseted so this one even though it says you know 19 centimeter wide it'll probably be it'll probably fit less than the other ones because it's gusseted it has a compartment and it also goes inward so um Probably not the most practical bag for sure. Oh, this color is pretty though, this gray color. Okay, I'm going to skip over a lot of... There's just a lot of mini flops. I guess minis are not going anywhere for sure. So this is a mixed fiber and we recognize this pattern, don't we? This pattern, um, I think, either showed up on the bib area of one of the outfit or something. Like, I, I just recognize this pattern or it's very similar. So it's got these sequins flowers, very well done in a sense, very cute. Look at all these sequins. It's all sequins here. So um, if it's all handmade, it's it's going to take a while, which of course says price available upon request, which means very, very expensive. So just for fun, we're going to look at this one too. Oh, okay, so this one is also sequins, but it does have a price. 
and we can see all the sequence here. We can see all of the sequence here, right here. It's got more of that um, fun, whimsical sequence, not as structured as the other one. It's got some numbers, some CC logos. So this one is 7,300. But again, very, very small, 16.5 centimeter wide. It's very, very small. This color is very nice. This, uh, what do you call this color? It call, they call it light gray, but it's more of a teal gray color. And of course, green is all the rage. I would call this light green, not light gray. But anyway, that's how they like to call it. And the Chanel 19. I love the Chanel 19. Okay, so those were all the flat bags. Let's see. Hobo. What does it? Yes. So those were some of the hobos that we saw. The first one of the first models I was wearing at Crossbody. So they have it in different colors. Um, it's in wool jersey. So it's a tweed. Yeah, it's very small. But... Because it's sort of that hobo style, it's open, right? Even though it is small, it might be quite easy to reach in and out. Like it's just a snap button closure on top, a magnetic closure. It's got that signature 22 bag medallion on the strap as well. And it looks like there is a front compartment. So, you know, it's something, uh, the price uh, actually for what the prices are nowadays, it's a little bit on the lower side. So that's surprising. They have larger sizes as well. So that was a small size. And this one looks like it could be leather. Yes. Yeah, so this is crumpled calfskin. So earlier we saw the jersey, the jersey tweed. This one is crumpled calfskin. So it's a little bit more expensive, but not much, not that much more, just a few hundred more. So if you don't like fabric, like in my case, you can possibly get the leather version and then there's also these large slightly larger version this is a shiny calfskin shiny crumpled calfskin this is how it was on the model it's okay like on the body it's just another crossbody bag and it just has the shape of a open like a, a tiny shrunken hobo little bag on your body so i don't know if it really adds to the style um I don't even know if it will add to anybody's collection necessarily in terms of variety of bags, unless that's just your jam totally. Um, I don't typically think that that's a very classic shape anyway. Uh, so uh, the Deauville tote is returning and it's only showing one style so far online and it's this cotton slash calfskin and gold tone metal. Okay, I like the, the look of this fabric though. It looks it looks durable. The letters are really fun. It looks like it's maybe leather trims. I, I, I don't know. Hopefully it's not plastic. <laughs> In any case, uh, that's how the very large size, I, I guess that's that would be called, this is the maxi shopping tote. So this is the larger size Deauville and from afar, I like it. And a, Again, it's got that square quilting. And in any case, they're getting very popular. Um, I think it's oversaturated. Like when they first did it for a few times, it was fun. But I don't know, it's getting very saturated. It's getting more expensive as we speak. And every single season, they keep increasing the prices. So I, I don't know if it's worth it. 5100 for this. And it's lambskin. Uh, nothing wrong with lambskin, by the way. Lambskin is is beautiful. The more processed the leather, the more resistant and scratch-free, but the less processed, which is the more full-grained, but like smoother textures are going to be more prone to wear and tear, depending on how you wear and tear it. Of course, they both have pros and cons, but generally, um, I would say if you're careful, you don't have to worry about either. But, you know, there are risks to either of them, depending on the type of wear. So this little vanity case, I don't mind, maybe because I am attracted to like boxy little things. And I like that this one does have a real turn lock and just swipes up and then you get to see the whole box inside. So to me, this feels and looks very practical. Um, I like white, so I, I quite like this one. Okay, yeah, it's not showing it on the model too bad but yeah aside from that mm, yeah 
not into the vanity case so much anymore. Um, it, they were fun at first, but then it's just too much now. And these are all very, a uh, very just sort of uh, like talk about novelty. These are just super novelty, minodier bags that are usually for evening. Uh, so it's more like a very special occasion type of bag. Let's see. Oh yeah, price upon request. <laughs> Sphere minodier made of resin, enamel, and gold tone metal. All right. And then we've got this one, which is tiny, 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 eight centimeter by six centimeter, lambskin and gold metal. Oh yeah, it's metal, but in a shape of like a cage. Mm. It's like a little card holder, basically. Oh gosh, it's crazy how, um, how like, these things just drives us crazy and she's wearing it here we can't really see it unless go at, go back and look at the fashion show and see if you can spot it here okay yes the 22 so this season same quilting oversized quilting uh but they do a contrast stitching so we've got the black we've got the white this is the large backpack how do you guys feel about the contrast stitching I don't mind it, but I don't know if I love it. I just um, think that, I don't know. It looks even more casual than it was before. Or maybe it is not, I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know how I feel about it. But for sure I don't like it enough to buy it. So um, yeah, that's where I'm at. In terms of the look, just the look, right? Um, yes, we've seen this bowling bag on a few models. Oh, the bowling bag is a good price for the size. For this size, this bag is not bad. I'm not saying that it's a great deal. Size-wise, it's it's got a lot of capacity. It's got side pockets. Um, it looks like once you open it, you've got other compartments. Oh, is there like... I wonder if maybe one side is just... You see how like this one, you've got um, like these other slip pockets in there. I wonder if maybe one side is just kind of flat and you just can put cards and stuff and the other compartment, like this other side, might be the actual large compartment in the bag. I don't know. We won't know until we look at it in person and this is how it looks like on the model. It just looks like a little speedy. Uh, 27 centimeter wide yeah it it looks like it could be like one compartment has or it could be just two different compartments that are similar size I'm not sure hard to tell but yeah cool and what else we have here that is interesting mm, camera bags do you like do you guys like these small Raphael camera bags the white color is nice. It's kind of expensive though. For this uh, lambskin slash viscose weaving. It's it's much it's basically a, a weaving of of material. Viscose is um in synthetic fabric and then lambskin trims, right? So very pricey, I, I wouldn't <sighs> Chanel. We love it and we hate it at the same time, right? <laughs> we do. We love it because they, they always look so pretty, but mm, the construction sometimes, the materials, and just the price especially is just not always, not always so um, captivating. So this one is a large bowling bag. It's very uh, vintage vibe actually. It's quite nice. It's expensive though. Let's see this one. This one has more of a dome shape, shiny crumpled skin. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks nice. These are the larger size uh, bowling bag. Okay, the, the prices of these bowling bags are pretty good considering the size. Not sure how easy it is to get in and out of this, but it's quite attractive for, for if you have a need for some sort of bowling bag. I think this is sort of like a good 
you're getting a lot of bag for what it is. Um, not sure how good the material and everything is, but just from first impression, these are looking pretty cool. And especially because many of the models have been carrying this bag on the runway. Okay, I think we see it here. So I think they do indeed do one side that is more of a flat pocket. You can kind of slip in things that you can grab easily. And then the other side must be, I'm wondering, it must be um, the main large compartment. So those were all the bags. Not much to look at except just many, many, mini flaps and just um, some bowling bags and some shopping bags, which are, you know, namely the Deauville and the uh, the 22 if you're still into um, the 22. Let's continue for with the small leather goods, just but but just in the USA site and hopefully we get a little bit more information because I I seem to remember that there was a little bit more information on yes the the US site. So again, US dollar is very strong. Uh, it went down a little bit, but still very strong. So this clutch on chain, four thousand four hundred twenty five. Oh my gosh, so crazy. Um, how about this version? Is it cheaper? Nope, the same. It just has. Um, oh, I think they're just exactly the same. Just not. It's just not color blocking. It's just all black. How about this one? Oh gosh, also 4,525. Oh wow, this is, okay, this is actually tiny. It's a, a little mirror. That's too much, guys. Oh my God, that's too much. <laughs> I'm curious who buys those things. Like, I get it. I, I, I was really into these like clutch with chain, the round clutch. I was kind of into it, but that was when they first started introducing them and they were not crazy priced like these. And the size seemed to be better before and now they are just ridiculous. Like, how big is this? It's 8.5 by 8.5 times 4. Okay, so this one is not a bad size. It's like a little coin purse. Uh, and the price for this one is also a little bit better, but it's also not super... Innovating is just a little coin purse with a chain. That's it, right? Um, but 4,000 US, that is insane. This one, 2,950 US, that will translate into pretty close to 4,000 before tax. That's pretty insane. Yep, that's well over 4,000 Canadian probably closer to 4,500. And I'm just doing mental math right here. We're not, um, you know, I don't really know how much this, these convert to Canadian, but as you all see, um, these small leather goods are not cheap. And then you've got these funky, super novelty theme, very thematic from this collection, the whole inspiration with tennis racket and everything. These probably, yeah, they cost a lot. Um, they're really just for fun. I mean, what do you do with this? Nothing. It just looks cute. And it's really just all for look. Jackets. We're not going to look at every single one, but just a few. Um, if even. This jacket, I, do, I did like this jacket. It's 6,750. Nice little yellow tweed with little sequins on the pocket. You know, 9,750, that's all US too. It's too much, guys. It's got nice buttons though, very, very nice buttons. And it's got a nice classic shape, which like I said, I would wear this individually with some jeans, not how they styled it here for sure. Uh, obviously the way they styled it here is more for the show, not for everyday practical life either. This little jacket moment is cute too. I like this one actually. Ooh, why is this one so expensive? It must be all the pearls. Oh, stunning though, right? 10,400 USD. That is insane, but it does look very good. I have good taste. I like a lot of expensive things. Even though I tried to pick things that I thought would be sensible and a little bit 
less crazy, but indeed they are all crazy anyway. Okay, let's continue on with the blouses and it's gonna be a little hard to see until you click on the item. This tank top, it's they're calling it tank. Uh, oh, it's a very, very nicely sequined um, top and it's 3,650. This little one is just a cotton tweed. Mm. Actually, now that I see it, I don't like it. It's way too simple. This top here, is this just printed on? It just looks like, yeah, it says cotton jersey. So it feels, it looks very cheap actually. And there's a big cutout in the back. So probably not worth it. This actually looks cute to me. You can't see the underneath. Um, but if this is a regular sort of like short sleeve or whatever, I like these buttons. And actually, I think this one is better of an everyday piece of ready to wear. And it's it's a Chanel. It's black and white. It's got stripes. It's got nice little buttons. I, I actually quite like this one. You would have to try it in store, of course. And as I already said before, I really like this look. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's probably because it's got all these strass which is all these crystals and it's super expensive oh okay so this one yeah i saw this little chanel so okay so this is similar to the other top it's got an, a large cutout um practically speaking it's just not the best type of tops to to invest in to add to your wardrobe unless you're really like unless you you just live in in like a very like beachy climate uh, or just tropical climate where you can get to wear a lot of these types of very casual airy tops um for us in canada i just i don't think so they're cute of course they're cute even this it's got a little bondo moment um i've actually seen this uh, my essay sent me a picture of this top. It's got two little straps too. Uh, and the straps are just, it doesn't have the CC logo. So it's okay. I, I, you know, just because they're the most affordable item doesn't mean that you should add it because you have to think about whether it can be incorporated into your wardrobe and that it adds value. If it doesn't contribute to, to your wardrobe, then really it's not that is not that worth it. Even this top, like it, and if they didn't just do the cutout in the back, I understand the cutout from the point of view of the theme and where they are at, but practically, practically nobody would really want to wear this. You wouldn't be able to wear a bra either. So I really like this one. Oh, it's got tons of sequins here on the lapels. Ooh, it's very pretty. It's very pricey as well, but this is probably one of my favorites. Very, very pretty, very, very pricey. This one, 5,050. Hmm. Sometimes I don't, under, I don't know if I like the Chanel number five. Uh, I, I understand the history behind it, but I just don't know if I want it on my jacket. So maybe not, it makes it less classic. Depends how you look at it. Uh, sometimes I don't mind a little trendy moment, but sometimes I prefer they're not there so that I can really wear it all the time. So it just depends. Oh, this is kind of a nice glittery uh, little cardigan. It's very fancy. It's actually, it's actually really nice. It's a very, very nice cardigan. It's very dressy too. Okay, so this one, I remember looking at it, I was like, oh, it's fairly well priced. And it's kind of simple, right? It sort of just has that racetrack pattern, the square patterns, black and white. And then it's got that Chanel little logo in here. And yeah, it's just, it looks very nice underneath, like how they are wearing it as a bodysuit. I like how they styled it. And I also think that um, it's it's kind of like a pretty unique, outstanding bathing suit when you do use it as a bathing suit. And I really like the shorts, how they wear it like that. Like I would wear this myself um, 
not that I like like I said I live in Canada we don't have that type of weather to wear this often but I am a summer baby I love a tropical moment so I will sometimes make exceptions if it's um, for an exceptional piece this however in practice not so good but on this runway looks very good I like how like it's so sort of just streamlined here very close to the collar uh, to me this is too hot like it, it already looks uncomfortable but just looks really nice on the model of course and I just loved how they styled it because I also liked this jacket a lot I really really like this look uh, practically speaking I don't think a lot of people would dress like that unless you're an influencer I really like this one as well this swimsuit looks amazing I would buy this <laughs> I would I would buy this um, hopefully the sequins don't come off that is the only that's the only concern I have really because it is a swimsuit after all but you probably wouldn't wear this to to do a lot of swimming maybe just a little bit of um, just like dipping your feet in that type of scenario I think and then her swimsuit oh so her swimsuit is a lot more intricate you you couldn't see it underneath that sheer shirt that she has that sheer blouse but it's actually way more intricate i don't like this as much but i i understand that it's a much more intricate piece however i like the previous one more it's a little bit more simple and i like that okay so those are all the swimsuits let's take a look at some of the shorts I did spot a couple of shorts that I really liked. I'm not gonna look at the pants. So I saw these and I like it. It's a cotton poplin with a uh, strass. So with those crystals. Hmm. I wonder if it's kind of that shiny cotton. I'll have to try it on. Maybe, <laughs> maybe by the time I go to Hawaii, I can, if the collection is out already, maybe I can try it on. It will go very well with my whole Hawaiian tropical look and the price given that it's Chanel is not so crazy so I will definitely consider that these shorts however I really liked but the price is a little too high although you can argue that these shorts are more on the dressy side so they would maybe also uh, be more versatile in a sense that you can you can just dress it up and go out, right? So I kind of like that uh, aspect of it and the buttons. I didn't see buttons earlier on the runway. I couldn't see the buttons, um, but close up, they look very cool. There's even more details that I, I couldn't see earlier. So the Chanel printed on the cotton and all the crystals plus the buttons, stunning. I think I like the shorts more than the top. I like the top too, but um, I feel like you don't have to always do both. You could just do a very simple crop top. Oh, this dress is very expensive. So pretty though. And it's got the sort of racing flag theme. The um, Formula One. I like the color combo on this. This is why I really like this dress and how flowy, the length is good. It's a nice dress, very, very expensive, nice dress. This one doesn't even have a price, so never mind. So this one would be more like a nighttime version of... It's very nice, so I like I like the combo here of the tweed, the red, the blue, the black, the white, and then that nice chiffon, organza. We just don't know the price. Okay, so... Um... Those were the dresses. I mean, let's also maybe look at this and this other one that I saw that I kind of liked as well. Okay, 13000 Very expensive. Again, this is in USD. I think it's because of all the level of details. It's got quite a few sequins on the pockets. It's very... It's a very casual dress in a very intricate way. So, looks very comfortable. Very expensive, of course. Oh, I'm very curious that this dress is 4,900. Okay. That's a good deal. 
<laughs> Guys, this is a nice dress. I mean, it's a very simple dress. It's just cotton, but I like the fabric. I like how they did the pattern. It's got the... It almost looks like lace, right? It's got that... Um, how do you say tricot in uh, in English? So yeah, again, these things can be deceiving until you actually look at the item. Visor. Ooh, why is it so expensive? Okay, not worth it, guys. Headband. Oh, okay, so you could put a headband and then tie, you could even like tie your ponytail. I don't know if they showed it on, on the model. I can't remember. That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. I like the color combo. It's a nice little bucket hat in a Chanel tweed. I like this. Uh, this, oh, this cap is a lot less than I thought it would be because it's all sequins. I thought it would be a lot more, but it's 2,150. Not bad. And look, look at, look at this. It's, it's so cool, right? It's iconic. It's a very rapper glam moment versus this one is even more that's interesting i think i kind of like the other one more and it's not that i don't like this one necessarily but it for some reason the pattern look, looks a bit crazy to me it, it looks like some sort of animal like scales or something i'm not sure i like it like it looks like it's got like the ostrich on the front and then some turtles or some maybe not turtle but like some reptile in the background i'm not sure i like it i really like this one on the runway i'm surprised actually that it's only a thousand only <laughs> uh it's a lambskin little belt with a chanel little plaque logo with strass crystal strass and it was on this model i really i really did remember this model wearing it and i really liked it so i'm i'm glad to see that it's kind of affordable given everything else uh this one okay i see it's got that little handbag charm um and we can we almost can't even see that she's wearing it so i'm not necessarily sure it's really worth it plus you'll have this thing dangling and hitting you every time it's cute i'll give you that this belt which is just about the same price as the one we saw earlier. I prefer the one earlier. I much prefer the one earlier. I like that it's a little thinner as well. Costume jewelry, I kind of took a look at it already. It was not, I don't know. It was just not that amazing. I mean, it is what it is. I feel like the costume jewelry, especially a lot of cute things, but you're gonna pay an arm and a leg for them and uh, in addition to to the fact that they're just re regular metal, they're not fine gold or anything, uh, not platinum, nothing like that. So f given the prices of these, yes, they have a theme, but they're not worth the price. So unless you see something really cute and you really like, uh, yeah, get them. But otherwise, they're simply not worth it. Um, if you already have a good collection, keep that collection, wear them, enjoy them. I'm not trying to say bad things about Chanel jewelry, costume jewelry. It's just it's just what it is. Like for the prices, they're just not worth it. And you could say that about their ready to wear and their bags too. Like they are just at this point where everything is not so worth it and you really have to pick and choose. So yeah, that's my analysis. I'll give it a like. Hope you subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed it and yeah thank you so much for watching also i do have channel memberships where we do exclusive live streams that we don't repost between me and cat we do them together so welcome to join my membership love to have you as part of the family and yeah we'll go from there thank you so much have a great week ahead of you and i'll see you again very soon bye